We're in a space race to the moon, and it's a race that we might lose to China because of SpaceX. Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, said that they hope to have 25 launches with Starship in 2025. What? Oh, oh my God. They've had four launches this year instead of 25. And in three of the cases, the ship blew up while it was being tested, and there was actually another explosion on the ground. SpaceX has long had this strategy of fly, fail, and fly again. President Trump, during his first term, set a very explicit goal of having astronauts back on the moon by 2024, and that was what SpaceX Starships was hired to deliver. I think it's not out of the question that it could be ready to fly, fly people in a couple of years. But that date has slipped from 24 to 26 to 27, but realistically, some at NASA are acknowledging it may not be until 2028. And one former NASA official I spoke with said 2032, and that could be after China itself gets to the moon. Starship includes the largest number of unproven technological advances. Meanwhile, China is using a much more standard, well-proven approach. China's lunar lander looks a lot like the Apollo mission lunar lander that the United States used decades ago. It's a very short vehicle that has four legs that could land pretty simply on the surface of the moon. SpaceX is going to put a 17-story structure super high, and it even has a wrist that it could fall over onto the moon. And it also requires an incredibly complex space-based refueling process. It is fundamentally more complicated than what China is trying to do. And that's going to slow the United States' efforts to get on the moon. Good morning. There's been a lot of talk in recent weeks among former senior NASA officials about their concerns that the SpaceX Starship is way behind schedule. That architecture is extraordinarily complex. It, quite frankly, doesn't make a lot of sense if you're trying to go first to the moon, this time to beat China. Former senior NASA officials said that they think it's time to come up with a plan B and to potentially to go back to a much simpler Apollo-like lunar lander that they could turn around in, in four or five years.